Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoid and this is my continued coverage of the HTC Flyer. Now I've done plenty of videos on this already so please do check the links and the annotations in this video to take you to my other HTC Flyer coverage. In this video I'm going to be showing you internet browsing so let's launch that browser. Now this is going into a website that I've already looked at this morning and I just want to pan down and then I can double tap to zoom in and it reflows the text in HTC style and if I pinch to zoom, as I pinch to zoom in again it reflows the text. I really like this feature in HTC's browser because it saves you having to pan around, move around the screen to actually read the text when you're zoomed in. You can of course double tap to zoom out again uh, and you can pinch to zoom in and out as you wish. It seems very fluid on the HTC flyer so I think they've done a good job here. Now you can bookmark sites by tapping the uh, bookmark bar up here or sorry you can look at your bookmarks by tapping the bookmark bar or you can of course add this page as a bookmark. Let's tap that plus sign. We can either add it as our home screen so it's going to load this website up every time we launch the browser or we can add it as a new bookmark. We'll give it a shorter title in there so let's call this Mac. Let's just uh, do Mac Rumours. and then we can say add and that will save that as a bookmark now that we save this as a bookmark let's go into our bookmarks we can see all the pages that have already been bookmarked in nice sort of thumbnail format and we can tap on one to take us straight to that particular website let's go to the HTC website for example just by tapping on that little thumbnail and this takes us to the HTC website and again nice fluid movement pinching to zoom in and out and a real nice browsing experience. Now we can also have tabs. We can tap on this bar here and then add a new tab in. So let's uh, add a new window. And for this one, let's go to the Geekanoids website. And this will load the Geekanoids website up. Again, we can pan around nicely. We can pinch to zoom if we want as well. But what I want to show you here is that it will actually play the video within the browser. So I can tap play. Let's just do that again. So we tap play and it starts playing within the browser. Let's give some volume. And we can go full screen. It's telling us if we want to go back to the smaller screen, sort of the, the small view, we just tap the back button and then it continues playing back within the web page. That's really nice, I like that a lot. We've also got a shortcut to RSS feeds here and obviously a search button up here. Let's have a look at the search button. Type in uh, or search or type a URL. Let's have a look for um, HTC Flyer. See what it comes up with. So this is going to search on Google for HTC Flyer all the relevant results come up, all of the um, news, and then further down we have got some video, so that's really cool. So very, very fluid, very good browser. I like the implementation of tabs, so I can go back across to the HTC one and then continue reading this website, so I like that. There's no animation, but we can close down tabs within this uh, sort of drop-down section here. So that's really nice. One more thing I want to show you is just if we've got any menu options. Let's go to menu. Well, here we've got home, so we can go to our page that's set as the home page. We can share this page. If we tap on this, it comes up with uh, our options for sharing, and they're Bluetooth, Facebook, Friendstream, Gmail, Mail, Messages, Notes, or Peep. And if we tap this again, we can also go to our downloads, our history, and print, or we've got a more tab here find on page, select text, page info and settings. Let's have a little look in settings and this is about just setting the home page, how images behave, blocking pop-up windows, mobile view, uh, default zoom, etc uh, etc et and, and then some privacy configuration here for clearing various cache and history, uh, remembering passwords and form data, uh, enabling plugins, proxy settings etc and resetting to default settings so really fully featured browser it does work in both portrait and landscape 
but obviously the landscape view is the better one for browsing the internet. This is internet browsing or web browsing on the HTC Flyer. Thank you very much for watching. Please do come back soon and check out more videos on the Geek and Noise channel. And I'll see you all in the next video.